there were uh, at least 12 different chemicals um, that were in the rail cars that actually derailed. There were more hazardous materials on the train, but those were not part of what we call the pileup. Um, one of the issues right off the bat was there was a lack of communication about what exactly was in the derailed rail cars, right? Because knowing what's in there and in what quantities dictates the response, dictates evacuations, monitoring for health effects, et cetera. And that took a long time to get to come out. But what we know, at least as of today, was um, the primary chemical was vinyl chloride that everyone's been talking about. Um, vinyl, cl vinyl chloride's a carcinogen. It's been well established that exposure over, or significant exposure to vinyl chloride can cause different types of cancers. Um, but then there was other chemicals like benzene, butyl acrylate. Um, uh, and, yeah, the, and those are all carcinogens also. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, when you add them together, it creates this toxic combustionable soup that has rained down and poured and, you know, got all over these people's homes and their, their ground, their property, the air. And a lot of these folks in East Palestine also use well water. So, you know, that's very concerning to them that the water that they use day to day is could be contaminated by these these um, these chemicals, these carcinogens.